Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! My name is Drake on the Willem Fuzzbottom Jr. and these are some of my patrons! Snow Hazard, and a special thanks to my special sponsor, Lit Dragon! Alright, as I get this loaded up here today, I would like to apologize for a video that I uploaded yesterday. If you didn't see that video, that's good news for me, but if you did see my video, well, yeah, it was not a good video. The audio balancing was... I goofed. And I did not show a whole lot of interest in what I was watching. That said, I am going to make up for it. I have a script written for another video in which I will talk about the same subject, but it'll be a whole lot better because it'll be scripted, and I'll actually be talking about the things that I am interested in. So look forward to that, it'll happen in the next day or two. For the moment, we are playing more Shining Force, and when we last left off, we went down here into this cavern where we fought some monsters, obtained the Orb of Light, and we used the Orb of Light to open this door and talk to some mystical being, who was mentioned in the chapter title of chapter 2. And by doing all that work, we have been granted the ability to progress the plot. And that's it. Basically, we were told by that mystic being, Hey, stop the forces of Runefoss. And I'm like, hey, I'm already doing that. What a waste of time. I oh, don't know, maybe this orb of light that I've got will wind up coming into play at some other point. But for the moment, this little adventure seems completely pointless. Anyway, we are about to move on with the plot, but before I do, I am told that there is somebody here that I really want to talk to before I leave. Mm, while I'm looking for that person, I might as well see if anybody else has anything new to say. Alright, here is somebody with something new to say, I'm pretty sure. Greater numbers alone will not win battles. Keep your troops in close formation. Um, I'm not really sure that's good advice, cause the past couple of battles or so, we have been dealing with mages who have AoE attacks. So, don't really want to keep my troops that close together. Relatively close though is still a good idea because, you know, don't want to leave my hero all alone and get himself killed again. Now this guy's back. Is it anything new? No, it's not. Oh! Um, but while they're walking away, I can open the menu and do stuff. You spoke with the spirit of the pool? I thought that was only a legend! Legends are always real in video games. You made it through the cavern? No one has ever done that before! Really? We have an entire school of mages here, and y'all never actually tried teaming up and going through that cavern? To cross the sea, take a ship at Rindo. Goodbye, Dragon. Perhaps we'll meet again. Yes, perhaps we will. Who are you? Okay, before I leave, I am definitely going to want to turn into a hen again. For a very specific reason. Not just for the sake of turning into a hen. Before I do that, though, talk to you. I want to fight again. I can help you against Runefost. I'm coming with you. And Arthur joins the Shining Force. So, the last time I talked to this guy, I kind of fumbled with my words a little by saying, okay, so he's a mage who can cast magic, or something like that. What I meant to say was, okay, he's a mage who is a centaur. 
I'll be at headquarters. Call me when you're ready to go into battle. So we got a centaur wizard. That's kind of cool. Wonder what he'll be like. I'll find out soon enough. But first, I've got some unfinished business to do. Alright, here we are down here. I'm kind of curious if this pool of the ancients thing triggers while you're a chicken. And apparently, no it does not. Well, what if I go down here to get changed back to normal, and then come back up here? Does it trigger as again as a human? No. Okay. I was able to re-trigger this last time. I guess once you leave the area, you're suddenly not able to re-trigger it anymore. Well, had I known that, I wouldn't have bothered with the chicken transformation. Alright, well... I do believe that's everything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's check out our new character. Let's check out his stats first. Item stats. Who is our new character? Arthur. I find it interesting that all our centaurs are grouped together like this. Alright. Wait. You're not a mage. You're a knight. Okay, well no wonder you feel cooped up in this place. You're not even involved with anything here. That's a nice attack by the way. I don't know what it is compared to everybody else. So I'll kind of check here. Okay, yeah, it's, it's fairly typical for everybody else. And I did not want to skip through that. Tell you what though, your HP kind of sucks. And you don't have the defense to back it up. So, not entirely sure how useful you'll be. Mind you, you are at a lower level than my other two centaurs. Uh, but still, your, your stats suck. You've, you've been cooped up too long. That's what the problem is. What do you have to say for yourself? I can't thank you enough for letting me join the fight. I won't let you down. I am skeptical. Anyway, now we are done here. Let's go ahead and head back to Rindo. Or in that general direction anyway. Can we access that one building over to the right now? Hmm. No. Does not seem to be any way to get there quite yet. Wonder how you get there. Are we eventually going to come back into this land? Because I'm kind of impression that we're going to be kind of leaving this land. Possibly in this episode. Ooh. Hey. Look at this. We have the circus in town. Let me see if I can get a better view of it. Alright, cool. I kind of forgot about the circus. And by that I mean, I didn't forget about the circus. I was kind of coming over here because I figured by now the circus would be in town. So, I'm guessing we're going to have to get paid in, or paid to get in, or something like that. Or maybe not, because we also had that theater over here, and that was free to get into. Anything of interest around here? Well, I probably want to buy some items for my newest character. But I only wanted the one. Anybody have anything to say about the circus being in town? The tent is up, but when will the circus start? Have patience. Did you meet Princess Henri? Isn't she wonderful? Uh, she's okay. Whether she's wonderful is remains to be seen. Is this going to be the same play as before? I bet it is. You know, while I'm at it, I should probably go ahead and buy a spear for my new centaur friend. That way I can do the whole switching around thing that I've been doing before. Also, I got stuff to sell. Also, it occurs to me that those rings that I moved around and received last time, I forgot to equip. 
So let's see here. The power ring gives an extra four points of attack. And I think it also has a spell attached to it, right? I wonder how exactly that works. Does it break or is it reusable? Meanwhile, you have the speed ring, which increases your agility, which, I'll be honest, I don't notice much of a difference, but I guess I'll give it to you anyway, because, well, having a healer with higher agility sounds like it would be helpful. And apparently, that egg thing that I got is not something you can equip. wonder what it'll be for. And when it'll be for. My son is missing. Have you seen him? Uh, I'm guessing he went to the circus. That's what kids do, right? Run to the... Sir, run away to the circus? I have a favor to ask of you. Grant it and the ship is all yours. What do you say? Uh, no. Well then, no ship. Please leave. Alright, I found out where my next plot is going to be. Please help us find our son. Indeed I will. After I finish looking around. The answer is still no. That's the mayor's ship. Go talk to him if you like. I will. Can I get into the circus now? Sorry, the circus people said to let no one in yet. At least until I talk to the mayor. Alright, favor to ask of me? Okay. My grandson is missing. If you find him and bring him back, my ship is yours. So, Dragon, please find my grandson. He's totally gonna be at the circus. The mayor's grandson? Yes, he went into the tent and never came out. That's strange. I'll let you in to look for him. Be careful, some of those people look dangerous. Are you, like, not part of the circus or something? You sound like you would not know what is going on, even though I expected you to know what is going on. Be careful in there, I will. And we got a battle. Well, Dragon, remember me? You'll soon wish you'd taken my advice in Alteron. Um... Oh! Yeah! Yeah, I remember you. You were that weird psychic person from Alterone near the entrance. It, it figures you're a bad guy. Come, my pets! Look who's come to play with you! Why, it's the Shining Force! I leave you in good hands, Dragon. I have more vital matters to attend to right now. And flashy, flashy, flash, 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 gone. Okay. Uh, so we got this music again. This was in the final battle of chapter one. Does this mean this is the final battle of chapter two? What we got here? We got some new things. And the recolors. We got mannequins. They are not magical, so that's good news. Except that one. The Evil Puppet. But it's a level 1 spell, so I'm not too concerned. This is an interesting set piece we got here, by the way. Fighting inside the circus. Dire Clown. Nothing of significance. I notice, though, that these guys have a pretty strong attack. I'm a little concerned. And the Marionette. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That is one powerful spell you got there, and a whole lot of HP. Is this a boss fight? I bet this is a boss fight. Uh, we got treasures in here too. Um, I might want to consider grabbing those before the battle ends, because I feel like this is a battle only map. Alright, well, dang. Alright, I'm going to tell you guys right now, this battle is probably going to have to be finished next time. But at the very least, I'll get it started up. Beginning with the bats over there. They're kind of cannon fodder at this point. Lo, you stay there. 
Oh gosh. That that was some magic meter that I just saw there. Okay. Actually, these guys are a little bit closer than the bats, aren't they? How do I wanna do this? Well I can can get right up against this guy. So What are the defensive stats of these guys again? And I pressed the wrong button. I was trying to look at your stats. Oh well, I guess we're attacking that one first. Uh, but you're not going to be able to reach. Hmm. Actually, no, you're not going to be able to reach. Well, you can kind of reach. I'm not going to be able to hit all three, but I can hit two of them. Which ones do I want to hit, though? You got plenty of MP. Let's go for it. Not able to do anything. I kind of almost want to give Hans a the power ring instead, but I think I'll just use the power ring as an item to boost his attack. All right, already took a bit of damage there. Oh, you're a mage. Um, block access to Tau. And while you're at it, why not? Alright, one down already? This is going well. I just know that, uh, that that boss is going to be kind of a problem. Also, level up! Yay! Learns a new freeze spell. Cool. Um, no pun intended. Alright, what is the advantage of using freeze over using blaze? Are we dealing with elemental weaknesses? This will do. Doesn't do very well, but it does. Ah, uh, Gort, I have a feeling you're not going to be particularly useful against this group. So, how about you come over here and deal with some bats for me? As for Luke, you can definitely deal with these. Let's go for the one that you're able to get further away. That way somebody else can get in right here if they're able to. Not really sure what to expect from the guys up there. And here I am. And no, I can't access those guys, so I'm gonna go over here to the bats. Hey Arthur! You're kinda sucky right now. How about you go ahead and uh get in a little bit of experience here? We got more horse butt to stare at. I know you guys like that. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! I like this! I like this! AoE, huh? Well, in that case, how about you stand right here? This is an advantageous situation here. 
I really hope this isn't a one-time use. You know what? Just in case... I'm gonna go ahead and save. And if it turns out... Not battle message. Where's my... There. And then it turns out that using it breaks it. Then I'll just reload the save. Alright, let me see here. Stand right here. We're gonna go ahead and use the power ring. Everybody in range here should be... Oh! Oh, that's the range, but it doesn't get everybody within the range. Well, in that case, I'll just do what I was planning to do in the first place. And use it on Hans. It's pretty cool, though, that you can use it across the board like that. But smoke rises from the power ring. Gone gains one experience. Okay, sure. You gain experience from it. Alright, before we resume... Let's check on you. Hmm. You still have it. I'm not going to use it anymore, though. I'm, I don't know what smoke rising from the ring is going to do, so... That's the one time that I'll use it. Who do I want to attack? We got that with 3 HP left, and we got this with 90... You're not going to be able to kill that, I don't think, so go after this. Level up. Cool. Not a very good one, but, um... Alright. And you, with your higher attack, are not going to be able to do anything because you can only... No, I didn't want to pass my turn! I was going to hit the attack button to show that your attacks would miss. I didn't think it would default to the pass your turn button. Oh, Hans, you are in such doo-doo... Alright, Gong, head off in this direction, help them. And Hans, take some unnece unnecessary damage for me, will you? Thank you. You totally deserved to have taken that damage when I totally was not planning on having you stay anywhere near in range of being attacked. Arthur, you definitely need some training. Can help! Get your better equipment. Now help. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say these guys have a respectable amount of defense. However, I have a respectable amount of eventually being able to take you out. Well, most things give a lot of money. I don't have much use for that money yet either. Do I want to try going up this way? No, not with you. You kind of need heal. So stay put, will ya? Hello? I guess you can do the healing. Oh, hey! New spell for low! Cool. Also, kind of leveled up without gaining any stats. That's kind of unfortunate. But... New spell! Not sure it's a spell that I'm going to be using very often. If all it does is cure poison. I haven't actually had to deal with poison yet. Oh. 
Hey, we finally got sleep affecting us again. That's unfortunate. Uh, by the way, I am kind of going to skip through the bat fights because we've seen them enough here. There's nothing of real interest in regards to dealing with them. The boost spell ends. Attack level returns to normal. Alright, so it's a temporary effect and doesn't last the whole battle. How unfortunate then that he was never able to actually get in any attacks. Um, I seem to have accidentally AoE'd the puppets. An ominous incant. That is an accident that I am going to kind of regret. I didn't think that they would have that sort of movement range. But then, they haven't had much movement in the battle so far, so how could I expect them to have that much movement range? I want to just get into position for when I'm ready to start attacking them. Can I attack you from here? That would be really cool. How unfortunate it is that your attack boost has already ended, but um... Might as well take this opportunity. <laughs> here I figured that if I did wind up aggroing them, that I'd be able to just simply get out of the way before they get to me. Nope, that is some movement range there. How, how do I want to handle this situation? Well, apparently this thing is supremely dangerous, so you know what? I'm gonna take it now, out now while I have a chance. Also, apparently they steal HP. Never mind the fact that it caused a lot of damage, but they can steal HP. Also, these level ups need to be better. I'm gonna leave my new centaur friend down here to take care of that last bat. Oh goody, I'm asleep again. I feel like these bats are stronger than the ones that I've been fighting. And their level isn't available, but they've been doing a whole lot of dodging and they've already put me to sleep twice. What is up with that? Is there a way I can get closer to him? Okay, I can get closer to him, which means just in case, I'll put on my stronger weapon. I already know I can cause forward damage with my weaker weapon, but why take chances? There. So, that's the second bat that Arthur has defeated, by the way. Some good experience for him. Not enough for a level up, though. Yeah, let's get rid of this thing. And cause as much damage as we can while we can before it starts stealing even more HP. Nope, that takes care of that. And what is next on our agenda? More level ups! But it's still not a good one. Hmm. I've already caused damage on you. Yep, in fact, you only need one good hit. So you know what? What are you capable of? Because with you only having 2 HP left... I could bring in somebody weaker. Here, get out of the way and let somebody else have room to get in there. Or I could just finish it off with Hans. But, nah. We'll get somebody else in there somehow. Alright, well, apparently while trying to wait for somebody else to have a chance to get in there and do some attacking... 
Ken got poisoned. So, back up for a bit. Oh gosh, how often is that going to take effect? Arthur, I need you to kind of get in there, because I want you to gain some easy experience. Chris, you're not going to be very helpful. I'm finally awake again. Gong, no. Oh gosh, I was really hoping that detox spell, or that, that, I would, yeah. I was really hoping that I'd have access to that detox spell before Ken's next turn. Alright, here we are. Hopefully this is not dumb. You better cause more than one point of damage. Good. You caused three points. More than you needed. I definitely want to get Arthur somewhat up to speed here. And... That's not a good way of doing it. I mean, it's a good way of doing it, but... Not with that stat growth. Alright, time for a little detox. I know I have poison healing items, but um... I wanted to try out this new spell. Which is a static orb instead of a fairy. Alright, I think I can go ahead and go after that last one up there. And after I take it down, then we'll end the episode and I'll finish off the rest of the guys in the next episode. And maybe do a little story progression at the same time. Oh, darn it. I was trying to back up multiple times there. And it's like, I want to check on the stats of that thing so that I can find out what its movement range is. But no, I kept hitting the wrong buttons and now he's in a position where he will probably get attacked. Well, you know what? If I step there, though, these two might come in and attack me. Here. Stay here. And that should do it. Oh, here we are with this free spell. That's a pretty damaging spell, as one would expect. Okay. Good news is we got three of us sitting right there to get some attacking in. Oh dang, if it had a free spell, it could have gone after Hans anyway. And that's kind of unfortunate. Arthur, you need to get stronger. Hmm, I can go, like, all the way around you. In this situation, I think I'll just try to take it down as fast as possible. While also possibly getting in a healing spell? Yeah. Gonna wanna heal somebody. Would have liked to heal Mei instead, but can't quite reach Mei. Gong can reach Mei, though. Heal. My gosh, heal. Oh gosh. I can't imagine how much damage that level 3 spell that that boss has is going to cause. It will not at all surprise me if at some point somebody dies in this fight. Well, somebody else. Figures it would be our new princess party member who would wind up taking the big hit or something. I don't know. I was about to use some clever wordplay, but I lost it. Alright, well, that takes care of that. 
So I guess, as I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here. So, down at the bottom of the screen is all of my patrons. And next time, we're gonna go after those two clown-looking things up there. What are they? Dire clowns, and of course, there's the boss. With a lot of HP, a level 3 spell, and who knows how much MP. It's gonna be painful. <laughs>